But I think there's one place to start, and that is with Paul Pogba. He has tested positive for testosterone. Yeah. Um, and he faces up to a maximum of a four-year ban. Now, for that to happen, they would have to prove that he did not, that, that, that he took Nandrolone testosterone yeah. uh, intentionally. That's right. Uh, with, with the aim of, of increasing performance. I think that's going to be very difficult to, to, to prove. He's going to, his defense will likely uh, involve, say, involve a whole bunch of mitigating circumstances that yeah. try to pull out. But the reality in the immediate is that, uh, once again, it's another blow between this and the injuries and the, 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 the brother and the childhood friends trying to extort money from him. Yeah. Um, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's incredible that we find ourselves in the situation given where Pogba was five, six years ago. Yeah, I mean, the downfall since, since the, the 2018 World Cup, really, where he was on top of the world, uh, as, you know, in the way he played and also what he won, is just incredible, remarkable. I mean, you don't have to feel sorry for it. It's not about feeling sorry or not. It's just that it's another challenge ahead of him after, as you said, the witchcraft and the extortion, the racketing, all of that. Uh, on top of all the injuries, on top of that move to Juve, that return to Juve that hasn't worked out really last year at all. And now this, whether it's a four-year ban, a two-year ban, whether he got away, he got away with it, which looks very unlikely. The sample B is going to come back before the end of the week. I think Paul himself knows that that would be positive. Yeah. So for those who don't know, there's when, when people are tested uh, by doping agencies, they test what they call it. They give two samples. They test the A sample. Uh, most of the time, obviously, that's negative, and so it ends there. If it's positive, then they go to double check. They test the yeah. B sample to see if there's a discrepancy. Frankly, 99.99% of cases, because it's the same sample, as long as they did it correctly the first time, the second one will be coming back positive. The assumption here is certainly that it will be coming back positive. Yeah, and, and Paul has admitted to Juventus that he took some food supplements that were given to him in the U.S., in Miami, by a doctor who's been his friend for a long time and that, that those nutritional supplements have testosterone in them. So he said, I, I took testosterone without knowing they were in that food supplement, but all I did is, is take some food right. supplement. Now, the, the issue I have with that um, is that I, every athlete knows that before you even take an aspirin, you check the club doctor. If the club doctor's not yeah. there, you at least read the labels yeah. on... In this occasion, it didn't happen. The doctor who gave it to him as well, I don't know who this guy is, and, you know, I gave you a food supplement. I know you're a professional athlete. It's not like, oh, look, it's my friend Paul. Like, you know, he, he works at the corner shop. No, it's my friend Paul who happens to be a famous professional athlete. Yeah. I know I'm a doctor. I have a responsibility to go and check this as well, right? Yeah. Uh, obviously, the final responsibility is always going to be with Pogba. Um, ignorance is not an excuse, but... I, I, I just find this like an incredible chain of events that you would allow this to happen if you're, if you're Pogba. Yeah, especially at 30. If you were a young, young player, maybe didn't really know about everything, maybe. But now he's 30, he's, he's got experience, he knows far too well what can happen. He's seen it before, obviously. And you're right, I mean, I apologize to Juve for not asking for not mentioning to the club for not asking the permission to the club doctor to take it can i take this or not this came from the us where it's allowed by the way which is not the case in europe for that food supplement and maybe he thought it was okay because you could get in miami and he thought it was okay in turin paris madrid london yeah. whatever it's also i mean just to be clear on this and i know there's a cohort out there who's convinced that all footballers are taking performance enhancing drugs all the time and whatever else i have my own views on this but if you are going to dope and cheat, this is not the time. First of all, you probably wouldn't do it by taking testosterone, but you certainly wouldn't do it no. in Pogba's situation mm -hmm. when you're coming back from an injury, you know you're not going to be playing entire games. So stamina is not really the issue here. Um, so I don't, I, I would feel pretty confident that they're going to, that they're going to accept the fact that it was accidental. Yeah. Um, and so then the four years would become two years. Yeah minus whatever mitigating circumstances they can come up with. But frankly, Jules, I don't see too many more uh, how they can reduce this. Mm -hmm. And yeah. as most people know, it's written into his contract. If you test positive, we can cancel your contract. And I think that is a, that is a decision Juve are going to have to make yeah. if, if he's found guilty. 
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.